Wednesday while on our roads, the Ghana Police Service says news that it will begin enforcement of spot fines for road traffic offences next week is fake. Some online news portals had reported the news earlier this week, but this particular fake news would have been great if it was real news. For months, Joy News has been on a campaign to end the unnecessary deaths on our roads. This would have been a great addition to that effort. Well, Head of Education, Research and Training at the MTTD of the Ghana Police Service, Superintendent Alexander Obing, has joined us this morning. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Now, I, I, a lot of people, I'm sure, were excited by the news that you'll start enforcing the spot fines next week. But you say we have to hold on a while but why has it taken us so long to enforce this uh, regulation? Thank you very much. I think uh, you are aware uh, that the traffic enforcement uh, over the years has been deployed. Some use your human eye to detect or rely on other sources for, of complaint and then follow up. And that has not... Uh, that, that has become a uh, model. Every country now is injecting technology. And uh, though the, the, the rule law that mandates work as uh, 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 incorporated, it, it is that we need to procure an infrastructure that, uh, that will allow uh, such a system to, to work. It is not just deployment, it's that mm. we, we model a technology that will the environment and then uh, try it among others and that has been the policy of the state to procure such a, mm. a project. It's a matter of time uh, that uh, in our lifetime we see uh, a camera coming and detection being followed electronically and uh, uh, we think that uh, by the time we get there uh, we, in our plan there will be uh, a general sensitization Mm -hmm. We have a elaborate uh, communication plan mm -hmm. for it. Mm -hmm. uh, it will come along with uh, a period of uh, a piloting, uh, warning, and, and all that before we roll mm -hmm. out uh, a, a holistic uh, a program. And uh, it will be long. All right. However, what you have now is not coming from uh, the motor, motor traffic and transport department, neither the police administration. So. We should disregard such information without All right, SP. So um, in, in that particular regulation, um, I'm, I'm just going to read a few of the, of the fines that are spelt out there. So for vehicles without reflectors, front and back, they pay 60 Ghana CDs. And um, for non-conformity with restriction on horns and sirens, you pay 300 Ghana CDs. I appreciate uh, the bit of technology you mentioned. That we've seen some cameras being installed in major cities across the country. But with, especially with these two that I've just highlighted, do you really need technology to enforce such spot fines? People don't have reflectors. And people are disregarding yeah. the rules on the use of sirens and where they can toot their horns. I, I, I think that uh, uh, I don't want to uh, uh, start on that premise because uh, those uh, fines mm -hmm. with the case to sentence among others, uh, those in the federal schedule of the LI 2020 mm -hmm. is not being implemented because the automation project has not started. And of course, it is this uh, fine pertains to 2012. So obviously, when uh, we are rolling it out, these things will be checked. Having said that, uh, there are some offenses that uh, the system can detect. Those ones will be uh, pursued rigorously with technology. There are those that, when it commences, you need a physical presence. Those ones will all be pursued rigorously. Mm. And that's why the law is so mm. comprehensive. All right, let's However, be. Uh, I mean, sorry, sorry, just, I just want to understand something. So, is it that um, a, an MTTD officer today, as we speak, cannot see a vehicle and say, you don't have reflectors, so pay 60 Ghana CD? So, we are just saying that. We, no, aren't, no, the, we aren't enforcing see, the law through and through. By the, the current uh, enforcement strategy, police deploys use the hand to detect, use the eye to detect. When we detect and we arrest and impound uh, uh, 
offenders and vehicles respectively. Mm. We do investigation. We charge the person. We go to court of competent jurisdiction that has jurisdiction over where uh, the case was first reported or apprehension was made. And the adjudication will go on. And the court, the magistrate, will sit in on the case. If he convicts, will impose sentences. And that will include penalties or uh, imprisonment. And that is what we are using now. So police cannot go and stand anywhere and say, I'm arrogating the power of the court unto myself. I will arrest, I will impose penalties. Mm. No. All right. And, and let's just make this quick, um, quick as we wrap up this conversation. So you mentioned that this is, you know, a very long time ago, 2012, and, and we haven't been able to enforce it. So how long should we wait? I mean, as you look at your, your plan to put the infrastructure together, how long do you think it will take before we are able to enforce it? Oh, it this? is, it is a, we, I don't want to give any timeline. Okay. Because it's a, let me say it's a, it's a social thing. Mm. Because in human uh, procurement are involved and other processes are involved, it's also also institutions that are also pursuing the processes. So necessarily have to go with definite timelines. Okay. It doesn't help the discussion. What is important is that the intention is clear, the efforts are genuine, and we are pursuing it through vigorously to get it uh, to uh, come on stream to reinforce what we are doing currently. Mm. And it's just a matter of time. So let's let's put our fingers from I know that the media will play a pivotal role regarding the communication plan aspect of it, general sensitization, education and publicity. Okay, finally, finally a lot has changed since we uh, formulated or put together the, these regulations. So uh, should we expect a certain revision? Should we expect that you know would we look we look at the, the airline. Uh, please, uh, uh, come again. I didn't get the question correct. I'm saying that you mentioned yourself that this law has, this airline has been in existence for, for a long time. And I'm asking that the law has changed since then. Uh, is the police itself considering some revisions of, of portions based on the times and things that have changed over the years? Oh, I think that if you are operating with a, a road traffic regulation, uh, since 2012, it is natural that uh, getting to 10 years, you look at it and review certain things because, uh, you know, uh, technology is advancing, behaviors are changing, road use with vehicles, behaviors are changing, uh, economic factors are changing, and therefore, uh, it is natural that uh, you review it and then amend and update it to respond to our current circumstances and needs. So naturally, uh, uh, with the assistance like this and all that, uh, I know and I'm aware that the airline itself is going through a comprehensive review. And uh, this, is, this forms part of it. I appreciate your time this morning. That's Superintendent Alexander being his head of education, research and training at the MTTD of the Ghana Police Service.